Did you know that by 2023, the AI market is expected to surpass $500 billion in value? But who gets to shape this future? Today, we're diving into a game changer that could redefine the answer to this question. Introducing Google's Gemma, a groundbreaking open source AI model family designed to democratize AI technology, making advanced tools accessible to developers everywhere. Let's get started on this journey to understand how Gemma might just be the key to unlocking a new era of innovation in AI. Don't forget to like and subscribe to The AI Era. Stay updated on the future of technology with us. 1. Overview of Gemma Gemma is Google's latest creation in the world of artificial intelligence. It's like a set of tools made for anyone who wants to build cool AI stuff without needing a supercomputer. Google made Gemma to help more people get into AI, making it easier and more accessible for developers around the world to create new and innovative applications. One of the coolest things about Gemma is how it's designed. Gemma comes in different sizes, but even its big versions are still pretty easy to handle. There are two main versions, one with two billion little bits and pieces, we call these parameters in AI lingo, and another with 7 billion. Despite these big numbers, Gemma's models are lightweight. This means you don't need the most powerful or expensive computer to work with them. It's like having a sports car that doesn't guzzle gas. You get the speed without the high costs. The idea behind making Gemma this way is to make sure more people can use advanced AI without breaking the bank. Whether you're a student, a developer in a small company, or just someone curious about AI, Gemma's got you covered. It's all about opening the door to AI for everyone, everywhere. 2. Comparison with Gemini Gemma and Gemini are like two siblings with different talents and goals. Here's how they stack up against each other, accessibility and agility. Gemma is all about making AI easy to get into. Think of it like a set of building blocks that even beginners can play with. It's designed to be lightweight, which means it doesn't need a supercomputer to run. This is great for people who want to create cool AI stuff without spending a lot of money or time figuring out complex technology focus. Gemini was made for deep research and handling big projects that need a lot of computing power. It's like a heavy-duty truck for moving big ideas. But Gemma... It's more like a speedy bike, zipping around and making AI fun and accessible for more people. Whether you're a student, a hobbyist, or a small startup, Gemma is made for you. Open source and collaboration, Google took a big step with Gemma by sharing it with everyone for free. Imagine a world where everyone can share their toys and make them better together. That's what Google is aiming for with Gemma. By making it open source, Google invites everyone to tweak improve, and customize Gemma. This way, more people can contribute their ideas and make AI even cooler and more useful for everyone. 3. Key Features and Advantages Gemma, Google's latest AI innovation, comes packed with features and benefits designed to make AI more user-friendly and ethical. Let's break down these key aspects. Open Source Model Customization Since Gemma is open source, it's like a recipe that anyone can tweak this means developers can adjust Gemma to fit their specific needs, whether they're making a new app or trying to solve a unique problem. Sharing and collaboration. Imagine a community garden where everyone can plant, waiter, and share the fruits. Gemma's open source in nature allows developers from around the world to share their improvements and learn from each other. This collaboration can lead to faster innovations and more robust AI solutions. Responsible AI, ethical development, Google wants to make sure AI is used for good. With Gemma, they're putting a big emphasis on ethical AI. This means creating AI that makes fair decisions, doesn't discriminate, and respects privacy. Mitigating biases. To prevent AI from being biased, Gemma comes with tools designed to identify and reduce unfair biases. This is crucial for making sure AI treats everyone fairly, regardless of their background. Potential applications. Personalized chatbots. Gemma can help create chatbots that are more understanding and personal, making online help desks or virtual shopping assistants much more helpful and human-like. Automated content creation. 
Whether it's writing articles, generating creative stories, or even coming up with code, Gemma can automate these processes. This can save time and inspire new ideas for content creators and programmers. AI-assisted coding. For developers, Gemma can suggest improvements, find bugs, and even write some code. This can make coding faster, easier, and more fun, especially for beginners or those working on big projects. 4. Challenges and Resources While Gemma offers a lot of advantages, like any technology, it comes with its own set of challenges. Let's explore some of these challenges and the resources Google offers to help overcome them. Challenges Training Challenges Training AI models like Gemma can be tricky. It requires a lot of data and computing power. For individuals or small teams, this can be a big hurdle. It's like trying to bake a huge cake in a tiny oven. You need the right tools and space to do it properly. Biases in AI models. Another big challenge is ensuring the AI doesn't learn bad habits. Just like people, AI models can develop biases based on the data they're fed. This can lead to unfair or incorrect decisions, especially if the AI is used in important areas like job hiring or law enforcement. Resources. Responsible AI. Toolkit. To help tackle these challenges, Google provides a toolkit designed to make AI more ethical. This toolkit includes guides and tools to help developers identify and fix biases in their AI models. It's like having a handbook for making sure your AI plays fair. Community forums for support. Googly also offers community forums where developers can ask questions, share tips, and get help from other AI creators. This is a great resource for anyone who's stuck or looking for advice on how to best use Gemma. 5. Impact and Future Prospects – Democratizing AI Technology Gemma is like a key that unlocks the door to AI for everyone, not just the big tech companies. By being open source and user-friendly, it lets all sorts of people, from lone developers to small startups, play with AI. With tools that are easier to use, more people can start projects that were too hard or expensive before. This could lead to new apps, services, and gadgets we haven't even thought of yet. Fostering innovation, Gemma encourages everyone to experiment and share their discoveries. This kind of open collaboration can speed up how quickly new ideas come to life and improve. It's like a snowball of creativity that keeps getting bigger and better. For developers, Having access to a tool like Gemma means they can focus on inventing new things instead of struggling with the basics of AI. Future Impact In the world of business, Gemma could lead to smarter, more personalized services. From shopping recommendations to customer support, businesses could use AI to better understand and serve their customers. And there you have it, a deep dive into Google's Gemma, the latest game changer in the AI world. Gemma isn't just another AI model, it's a beacon of innovation and accessibility, aiming to put the power of AI into the hands of many, not just the few. But the journey doesn't end here. The future of Gemma and AI technology is in our hands, and it's up to us to explore, innovate, and share our discoveries. So, what do you think? How will Gemma change the game for you or your industry? Don't forget to like and subscribe to The AI Era. Your support helps us create more content like this. And we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. What's your take on Gemma? Any ideas or applications you're eager to explore? Until next time, thank you for watching. Imagine 2.7 billion gamers worldwide having the power to transform any snapshot into a dynamic video game landscape. Yes. Google's Genie, the first image to game AI, is set to revolutionize how we interact with gaming by transforming any image into a playable environment. In this video, we'll dive into how Genie is not just changing the game, it's redefining the entire gaming landscape, making the creation process as simple as snapping a picture. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest in technology and gaming innovations. Let's get started on this exciting journey into the future of gaming. Section 1. Understanding the Genie What is Genie? Genie is like a magic tool from Google that can take a picture you've drawn or snapped and turn it into a video game world. 
Imagine drawing a castle or taking a photo of your backyard and then being able to explore it in a game. That's what Genie does. It's a special kind of computer brain that understands pictures and can make them into places you can play in a video game. The technology behind Genie. So how does Genie work its magic? It's all thanks to something called a world model. This is a super smart way for Genie to learn about different places and things by looking at lots of videos and pictures of games, just like how you learn to catch a ball by watching and trying. Genie learns about the world by seeing how things move and interact in these videos. It gets really good at guessing what should happen in a game, like where you can walk or jump just from a picture. Capabilities. Genie is pretty amazing because it can do a lot more than just make a picture into a game. It understands the picture so well that it can figure out where you might want to run around or find treasures, all by itself. And the coolest part? It can make games that feel the same but look totally different every time. This means if you give it a drawing of a park, it can create a game where you're exploring that park. And if you play again, the park might have new paths or secrets, making it fun every time. In simple words, Genie is like having a magic wand that turns your drawings and photos into video game adventures. It's a peek into a future where making games is as easy as imagining them, opening up a world of fun for everyone. Section 2. The Potential Impact of Genie For game developers, game makers are going to love Genie. It's like getting a super tool that makes creating new game worlds super quick and easy. Instead of spending lots of time building everything from scratch, developers can just use pictures to start making game levels. This means they can try out new ideas fast and see what's fun without all the usual hard work. It's a big deal because it could lead to lots more games for us to play with all kinds of cool new worlds. For artists and creators, Genie is going to change the game for artists too. Imagine drawing a picture or making a piece of art and then stepping inside it like you're part of the scene. Genie can make that happen. It turns art into something you can explore and interact with, not just look at. This could open up new ways for artists to share their work, making art that you can walk around in or even play as a game. For education, learning could get a lot more fun with Genie. Picture learning about the pyramids by exploring them in a game, or understanding how a volcano works by being there when it erupts. Genie could make all kinds of lessons into interactive adventures. It's a cool way to make learning stick because you're not just reading about things, you're seeing and doing them. For storytelling, stories could get a lot more exciting too. With Genie, the choices you make could change how the story goes. It's like being in your own adventure book where you decide what happens next. Each decision could lead to new places, meet different characters, or find out secrets. This makes every time you play a unique story shaped by your choices, making you a part of the tale. In short, Genie's going to make a big splash, not just in games, but in art, learning, and telling stories. It's all about turning imagination into something real and interactive, which is pretty amazing when you think about it. Section 3. Technical and Ethical Considerations – Current Limitations Even though Genie sounds like it can do magic, it's not perfect. One big problem is that it can't make games run super smoothly yet. The pictures might move a bit choppy or slow, kind of like when a video buffers and doesn't play right. This is because Genie is still learning how to turn pictures into games without making them lag. It's something the smart people at Google are working on, so games can feel as good as they look. Ethical Concerns With Genie, there are some big questions we need to think about too. For example, when you use someone's photo to make a game, who gets to decide if that's okay? There's worry about people using pictures without permission, which isn't fair to the original creators. Then there's the issue of how this could change the game-making world. If anyone can make a game from a picture, what does that mean for professional game developers? Plus, we have to be careful about how these games are used and who can access them to make sure they're safe and respectful to everyone. Section 4. The Broader Implications Beyond Gaming Genie isn't just about making games. It's about changing how we create things with computers. This smart AI could help people make not just games, but also movies, art, and even help in designing new products. It's a peek into how computers can help us turn what we imagine into something real, making it easier for everyone to be creators. This could be a big deal for scientists, teachers, and artists, showing new ways to explore ideas and share them with the world. Democratizing creation. One of the coolest things about Genie is how it makes creating things easier for everyone. You don't need to be a computer expert or a professional artist to make your own game or digital world. 
This opens up the door for lots of people to share their ideas and stories in ways they couldn't before.